Well, this is Christina's assignment for us. Um, this is the graphic that I'm choosing to do. I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to put it into my pictures library. I'm going to give it a, a name of A1 so that it's easy to find later on. Now I'm going to go into GIMP and find the graphic that I've just saved. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and it's opened at my A1 folder. So I'm going to double click on that. It says, do I want to convert it? And yes, I do. Um, and this is the image I'm going to do now. But I don't want all of it, so I'm going to just crop uh, to the text. The way I do this is to go to the box in the corner and select, and then draw a box around the text, just like that. Then I go up to Image on the top toolbar, click and scroll down until I get to crop to selection and that then just gives me the text that I want to convert into stitches. Now following uh, Christina's instructions we now go to filters and the top toolbar click on and scroll down until we come to blur across to pixelize here we just want the pixel width to be 1, the pixel height to be 1, and that means that each pic uh, pixel is one stitch. Press OK. Now we're going to go up into image again, and then close to the top we come to mode. We want to go across and choose indexed. We want to convert this image just into two colours, which is black and white. So click onto that, and again we convert it. And that gives us a black and white image. You can see those yellow knitting needles have now turned to white. Now either we can uh, make it pretty uh, in GIMP, or uh, I'm going to save it now. And again, I'm going, well, we don't save it, we export it. And I'm going to export it as an A1 again. Export, it says, do I want to replace the one that's there? Yes, I do. And there we are, I'm going to export it now. Now, when we come into Design Init, we need to set our tensions as the default. You should have done a tension square so again, I'm using Christina's and I'm going to go into standard garment styling up to new garment. I'm, I want to ignore all this. So just press OK, OK, OK. And these are Christina's measurements. She has done a tension sw swatch and she has 38 stitches to 10 centimeters and 62 rows to 10 centimeters. We set that as the default, OK. We don't want any more of that. So now again, I'm going into the Graphic Studio and I'm going to open up that graphic again into my picture library. And there it is, A1. Now, if I pick, uh, pick the grid settings, I'm going to choose 200 stitches and eight, sorry, 188 rows, which again is Christina's measurements. And that I then press as OK. I'm going to set the colors for black and white. Apply. OK, deselect that now. Now I'm going to put it into stitches and you can't see very much from this point 
but it looks okay, it doesn't look blurred or anything. And so I'm pressing OK to save it. I'm going to knit it at this stage in Fair Isle. And there you are, that's the graphic. And from here, I can make it better. For example, this My looks a bit strange. So I just go to the pencil, choose the colour, in this case the black, and take out those stitches. Take out that and click on the white. Put a few stitches in there. Oops. Again, click on the black, get rid of that again. And that's the way you just make it perfect. Then you will save it as, and I save it uh, into my picture library. Again, A1. And this time I'm going to save it as an STP, which is a stitch pattern. And again, I'm going to call it A1. That should be ready now to knit up. So I'm going to go and have a look in the interactive knitting. And there it is all ready to go hope this helps you. I hope I get top marks, Christina. Bye.